Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wool Supporter. It's Mr. Liam Keane. Different background today. No heat, no rain, no storms. We're back at Molyneux. We're back at Compton, actually. Uh, Gary Neal in his first press conference, head of the game against Arsenal. Everybody's ready to go. Yes, they are. Feels like we've been going five or six <laughs> weeks, which is what we have, but we are back. Um, good to see Gary again. Uh, look, let's go straight on with the team news, of course, and, and I guess the headline news. I say headline news. Maybe from a potentially starting point of view, everybody was worried about Mateus Cunha, but it looks like he's fully fit and ready to be selected. Yes, it does. Um, back from his injuries, hamstring injury, which he sustained uh, against West Ham, wasn't it, uh, in America. Um, been training this week. Back America! The, <laughs> exactly, back on the grass. Um, Gary said it's been a good week for him and he's, and he's trained well. Um, if I had to hedge my bets, I'd say maybe he'd be bench rather than start. Um, but it seemed positive. It's mm. certainly seemed positive. So I don't think you can rule out that he, that he starts the game. Um, so yeah, absolutely positive news because we saw how good he was against West Ham um, alongside Larson um, in those first 30 minutes and obviously scored in that game as well. So um, he's one of Wolves' best players. So to have mm. him back available, whether it's from the start or from the bench, uh, is always going to be good news for Wolves. Um, and then talking of Larson, yeah, there was a small update on him and Lamina as well because Larson had a bit of a tight groin ahead of the Vallecano game game, Gary didn't want to play him, he insisted he was going to play and he did play um, and then Lamina came off with some cramp in his hamstrings. Sure. Um, Gary's insisting they're both fine, both good to go, so the only omission that we're expecting is Nelson Smedo with his suspension. And then the ongoing story I guess in pre-season, we went to Marbella, we saw Daniel Pedence from nowhere, we did. and no Gonzalo Guedes, he gets sent off, then he's got a calf injury, we go to America and Gonzalo Guedes is there, he goes, Daniel Pedence stays back, where are those two in relation to tomorrow and going forward? Yeah, it's been a funny summer hasn't it, two players that probably weren't expected to get an opportunity, um, all of a sudden have had an opportunity, um, back here in England, they've both been training again, uh, back on the grass, Daniel Pedence after his calf injury as you say, um, and Gary reveals in the press conference that they will both be in the matchday squad tomorrow. Mm. Um, Bit with, of a surprise with, for both, Yeah, maybe? I think it was a surprise for both, I, I would have said Geddes would have been and, and Pedence maybe not, um, but for them both to be in, absolutely a surprise, but are they both quality players that hopefully if they're happy you can get the, the best out of, it, it's yes, and it's going to be mm. good news for Wolves, so um, I would, again, hedge my bets to say that means Chiquinho probably travels and doesn't make the squad mm. if Pedence is going to be in there but maybe Gary will line up a, a whole bench full of wingers I don't know um, so so yeah a, a big development really and it gives them obviously the, the you know Gary said there they've had, given themselves an opportunity with the way they've trained and the way they've been around the place uh, regardless of the past the opportunity's there so far they've taken it they're going to be in the squad um, and it's going to be an interesting but uncertain couple of weeks because their futures are definitely not guaranteed mm. and we'll have to see how the next couple of weeks go. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Um, in terms of Premier League experience, especially Daniel Pedence has got plenty yep. of that. So, I understand Gary Neal's going to be taking a big squad to Arsenal and there'll be quite a few people who will travel and not make that bench. Do you think that Daniel Pedence and Gonzalo Guedes will be two of those who might make the bench or do you think maybe one and one in terms of missing out? Uh, well, on that bench. He said they're both on the match day squad. Yeah. So they're both on the bench. They're okay. They're both in. Done. Okay. Uh, I'm surprised you've asked me about that. I've just said it. I've just told you. Well, I know match day squad, <laughs> but you could say match day squad could be the people travelling. And oh, I'd be, I'd, I, don't, I don't think he'd phrase it as match day squad if it means that one of them's travelling and not getting okay. in. I, I think I think it means they're both on the bench. Um, or starting, but I think that's unlikely. Um, but uh, yeah, look, you are right. It's going to be a big squad. Bubakar Traore, for example, is going to travel. Mm. Don't expect him to be there. He's only had a few days, really, of, of training. Um, expect him to be there, but not in the squad. Um, a player like Luke Kundal, who didn't make the squad, or didn't make, yeah, they made the, the bench or the squad for the, the Ray Vallecano game. I expect him to travel, but again, be a question mark whether he gets in or not. Um, so yeah, there, there'll be quite a few players um, traveling, but not making it into the team because at the moment, Wolves are stocked full of players. No, there were three letters that we spoke about a lot last year, hopefully not too much this year, but Gary Neal basically said, as you've got to say, slate wiped clean and he expects the system, the system to be better. Do you agree with uh, well, <laughs> the expression, the sentiment, um, the belief? I like the optimism, yeah. I really do. Um, I, I, an interesting point, he said that I don't expect Wolves to be treated any differently mm. and it to be 100% fair, obviously Wolves were the ones that tried to um, tried to get rid of it. Yeah. Um, and I would expect that to be the case. I don't think there would be any, necessarily any bias towards Wolves, but we do know that up until this point, VR has not worked very well at all. So with these small changes they've made, hopefully it makes it more clearer, there's less intervention, it might improve the game, but we can't really judge it until we see it, um, and until we see the inevitable clangor at Arsenal when, when uh, something's given against Wolves. So yeah, it'll be interesting, it'll be interesting. You've got a spider. 
crawling up your collar. Can I flick get it? Get it, go on, get it. Don't flick it into me, flick it away. Oh, oh it's gone, it's oh. gone. I really want oh. to flick your heel over that there. Scared but me, that scared yeah. me. Don't need um, yeah, I did see you looking down there. Got, what's wrong with my shirt? <laughs> um, yeah, so look, VR is, uh, we've had, what, five years of it now? Mm. Um, of it not exactly working. Mm. So my optimism isn't quite as high as Gary and Ian, no. but um, I will give them the benefit of the doubt and see how the season begins. Uh, finally, obviously, a couple of weeks before transfer deadline day, we're all looking forward to it. Uh, Gary and Neil. Wants to get a couple of signings at least across yes. the land, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, we've been saying for a while now they want um, a winger, they want a centre back. They're obviously looking at this young centre back as well um, over in France, but equally they want a, a more experienced senior centre back. Um, and they're working on these deals to get them done. Um, Gary was very clear to say that you know we've got our plan. Me and Matt Hobbs have been working on it. Um, we've got our targets. We're now just trying to get them over the line. Mm. Um, but he also said that nothing's imminent, nothing's close. Um, and that's not a massive surprise, no. really, the way the things tend to drag in the in the window. And Wolves obviously did some very early business as well. So they're without Kilman, they're without Neto. They did bring those three players in early on. But it looks like they'll be without a signing or two for, for at least Arsenal, with it being tomorrow. Um, and we'll see how, how the next couple of weeks play out. So we had a bumper preview on the podcast yesterday. We've listened to Gary O'Neill today. Give me your starting lineup, or Gary O'Neill's starting lineup. For the game at the Emirates, 3 p.m. tomorrow, baby. I think we're aligned on this. Okay. Um, Sarin goal. Correct. Correct, thank you. We've seen the team sheet already. Yeah, I spoke to um, Gary before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Doc at right back. I've seen Smedo suspended. I think it's going to be a four with Totti and Yerson at centre back. Mm -hmm. um, Eight Nori left back. Mm -hmm. uh, Lamina, Jao Gomez. I've gone Pablo Sarabia, but I could see a world where Bellegarde plays only because of having you know, a bit more energy, some more legs, especially tracking back, Wolves will be without the ball for quite a lot of it. Yeah. Of it. But I'm going to go with Sarabia, but I can see, I'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room there, as you can tell. Huang in Journalistic license. Exactly. Huang in behind Larson with Rodrigo Gomez on the left. Um, yeah, I, I think that'll be the team. Um, and I'd be surprised to see, well, not surprised because centre back's a, a talking point, but I'd be surprised to see a lot of changes anywhere else. I think that would be near enough the team. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm change oh, are you going to change again? You flip flopped again. That's three times now. Oh, you can't change again. I think Cunny might start. Oh, okay. No, I, can, I can forgive that. I can forgive you changing for that. There's definitely a chance of that. Yeah. I think Cunny might start. And he great think, if he does. I think we might see. Strand Larson on the bench. No, <laughs> where's this come from? Just for that, is it, is I don't know, it's our, got a bit of a feeling of chatty. Uh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, no, 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 that uh, was, I was completely right you're, there. You're, you're, you're I'm not. No, I've no, had some support on Mate, I, I, not as much as I have had, not much as I've had. Uh, listen to the podcast, of course, and also get your tickets for the live event uh, next a week on Thursday. A week on Thursday, week yeah. Transfer Deadline Day live, baby, at Molyneux Wolves Poddy Live, uh, and we'll see you at the Emirates tomorrow.